Lots of news today for the Essence Emporium, some chroma drama, new loot for what appears to be for every single champion, free rewards and missions, a strange change to new skin releases, mass disenchant tool and more. First up we have the latest update for the Essence Emporium which I'm pretty hyped for. It seems like we've been waiting for this forever and it's finally about to arrive in a couple of weeks. Skin Spotlight's posted this giant image of all the new loot which includes champion icons, a new set of icons for every single champion and some emotes. Riot Alex tweeted a list of the champi icons and says there will be more in development for next time. What's interesting is there is a massive set of new icons and they seem to be themed around regions. Alex confirms these to be the new champion illustration icons. He also says they will continue to release these icons for new champions and that these are available for direct purchase or re-rollable. So I'm not sure if they'll be in the Emporium. Julex also confirms they will be in the store for purchase so assuming this will be for RP. Here's an example of some of the Runeterra collection. Obviously there's a lot more but it would take a very long time to go through each one since there's one for every champion. Definitely check them out on Julex's Twitter if you want to see more. Next up some drama around this new gym chroma that got added alongside the new cosmic skins. In case you missed it there are new cosmic skins for Belveth, Nautilus, Nunu and Sion. Jin for some reason got a new chroma and it isn't the new mythic chroma. This was confirmed by the league dev team who states this is some sort of updated look with final effects. This chroma also comes with its own splash art and reminds me of what they're doing in China. Julex tweeted out an icon for this gym chroma and the description says it's part of a loot milestone. What's interesting is this icon is the same as the old dark star icon with some minor colour correction done. Already this has caused a bit of outrage. People are worried that there could be some new gacha system entering the game. We already have the Immortal Journey showcase arriving this week and now this other loot milestone thing with a new type of chroma. This circles back to what I mentioned a while ago where we have one less event this year. There doesn't seem to be a new pass until Worlds and it looks like the gap in between events is being bloated with showcases and now this new other cash grab. We'll have to wait and see as more info comes out but it's not looking good. Moving on there appears to be a TFT 4th birthday mission on the PVE so it should be going live soon for those that care about these type of rewards. I just checked and it's live for me in OCE now. Speaking of missions we should be getting a new set of free missions for the Immortal Journey showcase this week. Last time we got a couple of free hextech chests, some blue essence and an emote. Riot did forget about this last time and it was delayed, however Julex has data mined the mission tab icon so it is there and should arrive on time. And on the topic of Immortal Journey apparently the new skins and I assume capsules go live tomorrow instead of Thursday pacific time. This is a day earlier than normal which is strange but it is in the patch notes. Unless there's some sort of mistake or unannounced change I'm not sure what's going on here. According to the patch notes the mass disenchant feature should be available today or tomorrow. It's not there for me yet even though the patch has updated. It's on the PBE and from what I can tell it only leaves champion shards for champions you don't own. It doesn't seem to let you keep them for masteries. It might work different when it's live but it seems very limited in terms of functionality. There's also another addition to the item recommender tooltip. When hovering over a champion that the item is good against, the recommender will now tell you why it is good against them. There's some changes to ARAM clash where scouting phase time has been reduced since it's not as relevant in this mode and they've improved the matchmaking. I'm not sure if there's a free hextech chest for playing ARAM clash like last time but it might be worth checking it out. Spiderax tweeted out a significant nerf to the AP ratio of static shiv which is being cut in half. Let me know what you think of this change. Here's a reminder of the mythic shop rotation from the patch notes and just in case it ends up rotating a day earlier than usual make sure you have got what you wanted from the current shop before it changes over. Thanks for watching. Watching, see you next time.